Welcome to Wisdom Track. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, but my grandkids call me Gramps. We are on day 2011 of our trek. One habit that I practice nearly every day of the past 45 plus years of my adult life is to read the chapter in the book of Proverbs that corresponds with the day of the month. This single habit has been the catalyst for gaining wisdom and creating a living legacy. Adopting this habit can do the same for your life. The realization that God's wisdom is the only true wisdom drives me to seek out God's wisdom each day. There is no better way to do this than to meditate on God's book of wisdom. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge, so we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Today I'll read Proverbs chapter 2. The Book of Proverbs chapter 2. The Benefits of Wisdom My child, listen to what I say, and treasure my commands. Tune your ears to wisdom, and concentrate on understanding. Cray out for insight and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would for silver and seek them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord and you will gain the knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield to those who walk with integrity. He guards the path of the just and protects those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right, just, and fair, and you will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom will save you from the evil people and those whose words are twisted. These men turn from the right path and walk down dark paths. They take pleasure in doing wrong and enjoy the twisted ways of evil. Their actions are crooked and their ways are wrong. Wisdom will save you from the immoral woman, from the seductive words of the promiscuous woman. She has abandoned her husband and ignores the covenant she made before God. Entering her house leads to death. It is the road to the grave. The man who visits her is doomed. He will never reach the paths of life. So follow the steps of the good and stay on the path of the righteous. For only the godly will live in the land and those with integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be removed from the land, and the treacherous will be uprooted. And as you ponder chapter 2 today, please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together... Let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.